goodness gracious, oh me, oh my, she is giving informative educational content tonight, and by god, she is not qualified to do this whatsoever. <laughs> good evening, or is it? It could be, if you were good at YouTube thumbnails. I understand, I understand the stream isn't gonna be for everyone. Let me make that clear. And then my model will disappear. I, no, that just shouldn't have, it's fine. <laughs> I know this stream isn't for everyone. This is not going on the top 10 Rin Penrose bangers list. But you know what this is? This is fucking necessary because YouTube is a hellhole. <laughs> it's true. Look it up. Oh dear. And to get through the hellhole, allow me to just take a sip of refreshing, soul soothing. Coca <laughs> God, I wish they'd sponsor me. I love money. Oh boy, oh boy. Finally a stream for me. This one is for the clippers. This one is for all the VTubers who watch me because they think I'm good at my job. I'm not. Don't let me fool you. I wag my finger at you. <laughs> I'm less competent than anyone here. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. This one is for the clippers. This one is geared toward people who make things for VTubers, and by things I mean thumbnails, but just generally, this is my vibes. Thumbnail vibes. Wonderful. Wonderful. We can do it. We can make it if we try. And I do believe that. Yeah! He agrees. He ag Stop- I was like, putting YouTube thumbnails here is gonna get really boring after a while. What do I put? So obviously. I gotta put a man with his thumbnails. <laughs> Wonderful. My sense of humor? Banger as always. I'm tired. I'm tired of YouTube. <laughs> and of you. <laughs> oh dear. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Informative educational content. I'm, the, I'm, I'm gonna be Vsauce. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be Tom Scott. I can do this. Anything is possible. Right then. Yeah, so this one is mostly for people making videos in the VTuber niche. The VTuber niche. It's where the VTubers live. So that's stuff like Clippers or VTubers or people who are hired to watch Rin Penrose and then uh, make clips for Rin Penrose. <laughs> the poor unfortunate souls. Oh no. Rin is the new Tom Scott. I don't- I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's actively a bad thing. Oh no. Can I make drama videos with these tips? I'm not responsible for whatever happens to you there, buddy. <laughs> if you- if you get in trouble, I have nothing to do with this. If you make a million dollars though, uh, call me because I love money once again. Allow me to just make sure you don't forget that one. I love finances. I'm going to invest in gold. It's fine. My priorities are great. Yeah, anyway, my sources are me and also a little bit of uh, the stuff that Mr. Abiel has taught me over the year singular. So you know what? I don't even know who that man is anymore, so it's fine. So you can trust him. Tee hee. Ha ha ha. We're not going to talk about what happened on Twitter yesterday. We are not going to talk about what happened on Twitter yesterday. Don't talk to me. Don't fucking talk to me. I'm fine. I'm... It's fine. It's fine. So, right away, just for the people who are not really aware of the whole vibe, I am just gonna tell you the base. It says right there on the screen. Goodness gracious. The basics to making YouTube thumbnails, aka the bare fucking minimum. The bare fucking minimum goes as follows it's gotta be the rectangle. Who would have guessed? The video thumbnail does, in fact, need to be video sized. This is true. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have great pieces of fan art that I want to put in thumbnails and then the aspect ratio rears its head and I'm like, ah, wondrous. This fits so well. <laughs> if I was braver, I would just be putting in the fan art sideways, let's be real. 
Oh boy. Can it be 1920 by 1080? No. But, buddy, that's phone aspect ratio. That's YouTube shorts and they don't let you do thumbnails on YouTube shorts. Don't talk to me about YouTube shorts thumbnails. I have trauma. It also has to be under two megabytes. That's fun. Love that. I have not suffered at all. I have not had to convert any images to JPEG or just shrink the size of the canvas at all. None of my thumbnails have been rendered at 90% size and then 85% size and then 80%. I had to shrink a thumbnail to like 65% size once because it was that big. I don't want this. I don't want this. Oh no. Can it be 480 by 720? I think. I think YouTube says that the um, like the best practice or whatever is 720p. I don't believe them. I don't fucking believe them. <laughs> if you're gonna let me have a higher, you know, a higher resolution, I'm gonna take my fucking higher resolution and I'm gonna put it on my YouTube homepage and I'm gonna get three views. Don't talk to me. Uh, that's literally it, by the way. <laughs> we did it. We did it. The it's it's done. I've done my. I can go now. I'm fucking done with you people. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Repeat compression gang. The only way I can send anything on Discord. I love file size limits. Goodness gracious. I don't think I have to shrink the thumbnail for this stream. But anytime it's like a game and there's a lot in the background, it's like, okay, well, you're going down to 90%. I do actually, what I do, by the way, I do actually keep the, um, I keep the, uh, what's it? The source file, like the, the Clip Studio Paint file. Just so if I need to edit something, then I can without <laughs> wanting the sweet release of death. Then I export like a full size thing, no matter how big the file size is. I export a small version for YouTube, the main, like the, the 1080p one, that's always 1080p no matter what the file size is, that's what goes on Twitter. Because you know what? If I can't have my 1080p images on YouTube, I'm gonna have them somewhere. I'm gonna have, I put in work. I fucking tried my best. You know what a pain in the ass it is making thumbnails? Don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Do not say a word in my presence. I'm, th I'm fine. I'm thumbnail. Okay, nah, but we want bangers. So those are the bare minimum. But the bare minimum is like, you upload the video and it automatically chooses a thumbnail for you. Shrug emoji, you know? <laughs> so what we want is we don't, we want good thumbnails. Please, I, I need, I need good thumbnails. Please, I don't think you understand how drastic this is. I need good thumbnails. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I need, I need that SEO. I need that click through rate. How am I gonna get my ad revenue unless I have Mr. Beast in the thumbnail? Oh yeah, we got it. <laughs> so this is my, uh, this is my guide to making thumbnails uh, people might actually look at and to save time, I reused the title slide, but who gives a shit? <laughs> I just copy pasted him. He's okay. He's okay. He's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right then. Stretch. Stretch because we are gonna get into this. We're gonna get into the, 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 the swamp. The swamp of thumbnail advice because good. We had an entire meeting when I was pre-debut, which was literally just how to make good thumbnail. And I don't think any of it stuck, but what, what did stick will probably be in this presentation in some mangled kind of way. Listen, I, this was my on the job training. <laughs> you ever wonder why VTubers gotta wait like 15 months before they debut? It's because they are learning how to make YouTube thumbnails and we all fucking forget how afterwards. It's like the education system. What is she blabbering about? So, here we go. Yeah, no, um, Mr. Beast is in this. It's 
because um, a certain man who changed his profile picture on Discord recently, he hasn't changed it back. He hasn't changed it back. Don't let him lie to you. Insisted that I put Mr. Beast in here. I wonder why. I wonder why. There's no possible reason. He's so good at this. <laughs> of course he's number one. <laughs> In my heart, said of the as fashion. It's a terrible idea. I'm summoning something awful into the world. So, but all I can clown on Mr. Beast exclusively because he is my boss's favorite YouTuber, <laughs> which is quite amusing. What What do you think he's thinking about in this image? What do you What, what do you think is going through his 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 head? <laughs> <laughs> Red. <laughs> if anyone ever tells, tries to tell you that YouTube is not an art form, you don't, you don't, don't believe them. They don't know what they're talking about. Wonderful. Brilliant. Unfortunately, this is a pretty good YouTube thumbnail, all things considered. So, why does hand look like that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, just like in any other creative field, um, theft. Why didn't someone stole my applause button? But actually, I just didn't press it in hard enough. So yeah, as with any kind of creative thing, the best way to get better at the creative thing is to look at other creative things other people made and figure out why they're based and cool. But don't become the subject matter of an H Bomber Guy video because that's really not, that's not worth, it's, you might, you don't want to get evaporated on the spot, so maybe just be careful on this one. But, uh, tr I'm, I'm talking about, like, stealing the execution of ideas, or the ideas that you then ex- There's no good way I can put this, but I know what I'm talking about, maybe. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't think I want to try getting into idle anymore. Yeah, because you're gonna you're just gonna hear a, a bunch about this guy. <laughs> it's gonna be Mr. Beast, and then it's gonna be Mr. Beast. With all the YouTubers like retiring right now, if Mr. Beast ever decided to throw in the towel, I feel like Mr. Beast would be completely inconsolable. And God, I hope that happens within my lifetime, but just because that would be really funny to watch. <laughs> I'm a nice person, but if I wasn't. <laughs> The yoink and twist. Yes, the yoink and twist. Thank you. The yoink and twist is a term from, I believe it was Ludwig, the streamer. And basically his mentality when it comes to getting content ideas is see what other people are doing that is working and then put a spin on that thing. Which is basically how, how it be. God knows that's how it be sometimes. <laughs> right then. This reveal would leave CEO leaving it open for Rin if that happens. Rubs hands together like a little raccoon. Finally, my time is come. So yeah, what the fuck is this guy's deal, right? What? It's impossible to look away from. This is the pinnacle of human emotion. Damn, he really is trapped in the slime. Why the fuck is he trapped in the slime? And that's the problem. Now you want to click on the fucking video to figure out why is my man trapped in the slime? What happened? <laughs> is that sound effect on a timer? No. The metal pipe falls when I say the metal pipe falls. No, that's not what- Okay, what's well, sure. <laughs> Imagine the day when Rin starts doing thumbnails like Mr. Beast. We'll fucking get to that. Smile. <laughs> yeah, no. Whatever you want to say about this dude, his thumbnails fucking work, and you can see it in his goddamn numbers or whatever. Not to be like, teehee, uh, number go up, that means uh, more morality, closer to God. But... <laughs> No, but like, you don't become like the big boy on YouTube without having kind of banger thumbnails. It's a tragedy, 
God, I wish I didn't live in a society. But since I do, here's Mr. Beast stealing a big old jewel. You know? <laughs> here... Here, here he is giving money to children. Don't think... Uh, foreshadowing is a narrative device in which... So... Okay. Yoink and twist example number one. Idle. Don't fucking at me! <laughs> so... He's got an aesthetic, right? And the aesthetic is... For lack of a better term, very, like, utility-based. Everything... All the choices that... I, I'm gonna say Mr. Beast. What I really mean when I say that is the people Mr. Beast pays to do his thumbnails for him. God damn. God damn. Are we slandering Mr. Beast right now? If it'll upset my CEO, yes. And only if. <laughs> so, there are a lot of, like, moving parts in this kind of operation, and then I'm, I'm gonna pretend that I know what I'm talking about, and then uh, after that, all of you are gonna go... Oh, I get it, even if you don't. And that's how this is gonna shake out. So, basically, where's my, where's my thing? Where's my, I, I have my list. <laughs> like this. He's always doing those fucking faces, right? He's always going like, isn't he? Isn't he? He's, <laughs> all these days, what is he? Something like that. Something like that. Pog? <laughs> He's always doing the Pog face. Terrifying. Live beast reaction. <laughs> oh dear god, we might be in the worst timeline and that's okay. No, but the... Hmm, the human brain is... I did psychology for two years, I'm allowed to talk about this. The human brain is basically set up to recognize things as, like, human faces, aren't they? That's why you see a face in your fucking toaster. You know, the human brain, it sees a face and it goes... You know? You know? Faces are just a very, a, a, like, attention-grabbing thing because we are all cavemen and we're worried that, like, Mr. Beast is gonna clobber us to death with his big club, you know? It's gonna happen. This man will be responsible for a man's death someday. I can prove it with facts. God, I hope that doesn't age terribly, but if it does... <laughs> Walmart. Oh, no. So, yeah, basically, when you have someone in, like, a heightened state of emotion, that face is very easy for the brain to go... at. Example A. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> I feel like I've explained something with no words, you know? Allow me to now explain something with no words. And like, uh, uh, like, what's the deal? What's the deal, right? <laughs> I thought she'd seen a spider. <laughs> me when arachnid. They always come down from the ceiling, it's terrifying. Hate it here. I get it. See? Maybe someone understands or maybe they're saying that to be nice to me. Either way, I count that as a personal win. Damn bro, so true. <laughs> My next recommended video is Tom Scar's Guide to Plagiarism. I'm afraid of what this means. <laughs> Scoring pretty high up there on that, on that there Summerton scale, huh? Domino's Pizza is a... So yeah, faces. The next step is, uh, we all know uh, saturation 1 billion. We are all magpies on the inside. <laughs> we all know that we see like bright shiny color and our brains go, you know, it happens. It can't not happen. <laughs> it's having a face required pretty much, pretty much at this rate. So if you don't have a face, um. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a bit unfortunate. Sorry, mate. Try again next week. Also, so... I mean, not just getting, like, attention, because let's be real, everyone does the fucking bright, saturated colors thing these days. It also just helps stuff, like, stand out against the YouTube UI, which is very, you know, it's, it's calm. It's... YouTube UI is, like, professional, calm. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So you want to stand out against that. You don't... 
The worst thing a thumbnail can probably do is like just blend into the fucking background, never to be seen by mortal eyes ever again. Mm. Also, the like the high saturation kind of implies like a certain level of energy. Because why would the thumbnail be so bright if it's normal? <laughs> if it's just guys being dudes, you know? No, it's not guys being dudes. It's guys being dudes while riding jet skis in the Arctic. Brilliant. Wow, that's content there. <laughs> There are also other tricks that you can get to uh, to make the colors in your thumbnail stand up. We will get to that. We will get to that. I put some amount of thought into this. Uh, legibility is... <sighs> I have some gripes about some people's thumbnails and that's okay. Because I will send this to their houses. I will send a VHS of the stream to their houses. You know what you are. <laughs> someone who still owns a VHS player and you are going to learn because thumbnails are like by the name of them even thumbnail they are very small they are very small like this new scrunkly I got when uh, my cousin and mum came back from their holiday his name is Bartholomew he's a little he's a little creature I will show you Bartholomew later right now he's learning how to make banger YouTube thumbnails but also he's baby <laughs> Betamax. <laughs> yeah, you know, this. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And people are definitely gonna be able to watch the stream in two minutes. Oh boy. So that's what you got. No, that was different. But also, Bart follow me, my son. <laughs> Listen, my cousin said his name was Bart, and I was like, that's definitely short for something. Don't at me. His name is Bartholomew and he's blue. Wonderful. And YouTube thumbnails, Bartholomew, it's time to learn. Sit on my blanket, learn, listen, inhale the knowledge. The thing about YouTube thumbnails, they are going to be displayed at a very small kind of scale, especially if you're on like a phone, right? You pick up your fucking thumb. Scroll down on the- I know you're watching this on mobile, I'll check my fucking analytics, right? <laughs> Go, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm on YouTube. Scroll down. They're pretty small. They're pretty small. If you're on YouTube desktop, arguably they're even smaller. They take up half the screen. How big is your phone? Oh. To be fair, I do have one of those small phones, so maybe that's on me. But still, like, it's not like up in your face, is it? There is. There's details that are gonna get lost. If you're on like Twitter or something where people are sharing stuff, it's gonna be even smaller. God forbid you embed the video somewhere. <laughs> How does she know that? Psychic abilities. Don't test me. Don't fucking test me. Don't do it. So you need to make sure that your thumbnails are legible. You need to... This doesn't... Legibility is normally used to refer to text. Like, can you read it? When I say legibility in uh, the context of YouTube thumbnails, it means basically... You can tell what's going on. You can tell what's going on in all of these. They're very clear. They're, they're legible because it's easy to tell what kind of the situation is, you know? This is a child being given a credit card. And he's like, wow, mister, that's incredible. This is Mr. Beast being arrested by the FBI for some reason. This is Squid Game. <laughs> wow, they're the size of my thumbs now. Wait a second. You would not believe your eyes. This is... Crime! That's a crime. I feel like most of these are crimes, but that's that's wonderful. What did you do? Crime! So basically you need to make sure, and this also does apply to text, but we'll get on to text. You need to make sure that it's easy to tell what is going on in the thumbnail. And for VTubers sometimes this can be a little bit difficult because most of the time it is model standing on screen going... But there are things you can do. You can, I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you because I have nothing else in this world. It's the woe. Also on the topic of legibility, a lot of people like putting a little bit too much text in their thumbnails. 
And the thing about the uh, text and thumbnails is it makes it very easy for it to just be something you skim over. Like if you if you go on your YouTube homepage or right, uh, whatever right now, let me go on mine. Let me go on mine. Where am I? Where am I? Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of thumbnails with a lot of text on where it's like, I don't have time to read this, bro. <laughs> hmm. It's just kind of a, like a mental hurdle, I guess, is the best way of putting it. It's a mental hurdle that is a little bit unnecessary if you just retool the thumbnail and the title in a certain way. Because you want to have as few hurdles to watching... The thing about YouTube, you want as few hurdles to a viewer to be able to like watch your video as possible. That's why most YouTube traffic comes from YouTube, because once it gets to external sites, no one's gonna take the time to fucking click that. But it's even just like mental hurdles, like, I can't tell what's going on in this thumbnail, so I'm not gonna fucking click it. It's a very small decision, and it's... As long as you can kind of remove that friction in the brain, question mark, question mark, question mark, that is gonna make it a lot easier for people to be, to be like, convinced in their, in their, in their brains. I am a psychologist, but also I'm not. Please trust. Please trust. Oh dear. I'm not reading all that. Congratulations or sorry that it happened. <laughs> Basically. Pretty much. It's very easy to just kind of like skim your eyes over text, isn't it? I mean, once again, humans are not hardwired to read text. Humans are hardwired to look at guy doing weird face and go like... It's, it's, that's, that's this. That's what this is. Yeah. There's a VTuber clip on my recommendation page that's like 80% text. Yeah, the VTuber thumbnails are a weird case because a lot of the time there's, it's not easy to make it clear what is going on in the clip with just like a still image. And a lot of VTuber clips are like, X says Y and I find this humorous rate five stars so you do kind of have to with a lot of youtube clips there's no way of getting around the fact that you need some text but if you can cut down on the amount of text that just kind of lowers the boundaries to getting people to actually want to do anything god damn humanity is ruined case in point rin penner is right here speaking to you live from the internet of things i still don't know what the internet of things is and that's neither here nor there what do you mean I'm a thing. What are you talking about? Less text, more saturation, and pog. <laughs> That's the only thing you take away. Uh, maybe your thumbnail gets 2% better. There's there's more to this. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Mm, the internet of Rins. I, it's mine now. It's my internet. It's interconnected. That's where the word comes from. I haven't cited the source, and I won't. So yes, how do we uh, take advantage of this in the VTuber niche for financial game? I will fucking tell you. God damn, I'll tell you. And then maybe one day I'll even figure out how to do it myself in practice, because God, I... <laughs> I scream, but God doesn't hear me! Yeah! <laughs> Won't the bright colors scare away the viewers like poison dart frogs? I think the desire to be a magpie kind of, kind of, you know, goes over this. <laughs> the desire to look at shiny things, you know, I'm like a little Pikmin. Viewers are like Pikmin. They, uh, they want to carry the shiny things in their brain, but also they can't read. <laughs> oh no, uh, this, this, I, metaphors aren't my strong point, let's continue. So yeah, this is my uh, practical advice for making thumbnails in the VTuber niche uh, by someone who makes good thumbnails only about 2% of the time. They're not- By the way, this was a really, really convenient slide template to have. This was just included in the PowerPoint thing. <laughs> Slides go my Oshi. Back at it again. <laughs> Viewers are like Pikmin. They're on the GameCube! Oh no. I hate how easily I can hit that note now. Terrible. Terrible. I shouldn't have been given this ability. Listen, uh, I have a higher success rate than some humans on this earth, so I'm qualified, please trust. So, once again, legibility is key. I will be including examples from uh, VTuber stuff in this section. Hoorah. You want to be able to figure out what the fuck is going on. 
the thumbnails are gonna be small, but the thing is when you're making thumbnails, you're probably gonna be making them on desktop, like fully zoomed into Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop or fucking Canva, I don't know what you use. I can't, but I wish I could. So it's very important that, you know, it's like that thing in art where you need to flip the canvas sometimes because otherwise you're just gonna miss mistakes or it's just gonna warp your perception of it. You need to zoom out when you're making YouTube thumbnails to make sure that you can actually fucking figure out what it is. You know, I think I think this uh, this Poco thumbnail is actually really good. You know, it's it's clear. It's got the mystery kind of thing. You don't fucking know. You don't fucking know, but you could. Anything is possible. But yeah, these are just... You can fucking read them. There are like a few situations where uh, it gets like, like a little bit unclear. I might pipe down this, uh, the, the brightness. I might put an overlay actually over the Tetris blocks in the background for this one. If I was doing this. Not to, <laughs> not to backseat like my, my, <laughs> my colleague's fucking thumbnail making, but you know. <laughs> Don't assume we can read. It's kind I can assume you can read one word at the very least. But I think these are- I mean you can fucking tell this is gonna be like a Mario Odyssey stream. Sometimes people make uh, thumbnails for like stream- like- what's it? Streaming games and you're like, wait a second, wait a sec- oh I see. And if, if, if that's a popular game that people are gonna know about, that's not exactly ideal. But you- You fucking know! You fucking know! You fucking know! Oh baby, you fucking know. So basically you want to make sure that when you're zoomed out of the- uh, of the- of the funny- of the silly- of the goofy little canvas. That everything is- what the fuck was that? That everything is going all according to Keikaku. Why don't we zoom out now? Why don't we do that? Alrighty then. Let's- Oh! Oh, what's that underneath the slides as we zoom out to check the legibility of our thumbnails? Oh my god, it's my first year anniversary, guys! <laughs> I will not stop this joke and you can't fucking make me! <laughs> if management stopped to if, if management told me to stop shilling my merch so hard, I would fire myself! This runs through my veins! <laughs> It's good thumbnails. It's good thumbnails. <laughs> They're gonna be on sale until your second anniversary. God, I hope so. That'd be very funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all fun and games until that second year anniversary. Wait until I get to like my 15th anniversary and it's gonna be like, oh god, she's got so much fucking I can't do this anymore. What the fuck is wrong with you? This segment's gonna be like three hours long and you can't stop me. Thumbnails. Zoom out of your fucking canvas once in a while. I believe in you. It's time to learn color theory. It's time to get good at the clothes. It's time for everyone to get good. Not just me, but you too. So basically, what the deal is right here? Let me tell you something. Colors. Oh my god, you never would have seen that coming. <laughs> colors are important because colors have vibes. Pink means love, while pink means cute. Look at that octopus. Damn, that is kawaii. That is the that is the moe. I understand what these words mean. I'm 35 years old. Dark colors. Oh my god, it's evil. POV, your PC just blue screened and you had an anxiety attack and also Momo Otaku was there. Incredible and not based on real life experience. This one might just be appealing to my fears, but I think it still works. <laughs> if it's a happy clip, use, use, use warm colors, my man. If it's sad, then you shouldn't be clickbaiting that, you fucking monster. <laughs> Oh dear, Momo Otaku is always present in my panic attacks. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Terrible. Terrifying. Colors mean things. And also, and I told you I would fucking get to this, 
contrasting colors are good and they make things stand out more. And we will get back to this in the personal examples section. But you know, yellow on, people say it's yellow on purple. It's, it's, yellow on indigo works because this is kind of fucking indigo, this background. Imagine if there was yellow on it. Wow, can you imagine what the color yellow looks like? Well, I'm sure you can when you buy the Christmas merch. It's got... Nikki Ray has yellow hair, I think. I checked this. <laughs> I can't stop. I won't stop. Momo is right there. <laughs> oh, no. Contrasting colors are good. That is how you make things stand out. Besides the fucking saturation thing. Because everyone knows how to crank up the saturation. But not everyone knows that red stands out more on green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right then. I did psychology. They didn't... I didn't actually end up going to art college. So you know what? It's time to look up color theory. Not just me, but you too. The counselor of color has now made th their degree. Did everyone in this land have color proficiency? It's time to get good at the colors, man. Oh boy, oh boy. If something life-threatening happens, you use black and blue. I don't think you should be clipping people getting beaten up in real life. That's just a thought that I've had. Red on green like the Christmas mat. Oh fuck, wait, uh, shit, my joke. Ruined. Go stop, backwards, backwards, backwards. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, why am I here? Why do I do anything? <laughs> I'm in hell. No, I'm in heaven because I get to show my merch every day. Wow, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> you have lost the funny. I never had it. We know this. Moving on. On every YouTube thumbnail, there's a little, there's a little box. I call the time code, but that's not what that word means. But I don't, I never found a word for what it is called, really. So it's always there. It's taunting me. So you, you got to make sure you account for this fucking thing, man. If it's covering text, no one's going to be able to read the text without some effort. And by the time people have to start putting effort into deciphering your thumbnails, I think that's a, a, an important thing to remember. Once people have to stop putting any amount of effort into deciphering what your thumbnail is, it's over. It's over. You've lost so much fucking traffic. Man, you are not going to be the... The guy, the thing... I've already brought up Mr. Beast. That's not... Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> oh, boy. My face is only in the bottom right corner. <laughs> Michael Wazowski, is that you? <laughs> Idle corporate at Banner, is that you? <laughs> oh god, I'll never be the Mr. Beast of Clips. Truly a sad time for us all. <laughs> no, yeah, I would... I. Hmm. It also displays differently on different platforms because <laughs> we're fine. Everything is great. But does it show up? I took the screenshot on desktop. Does it? Okay, it actually shows up smaller on mobile. So I would say that I don't think it shows up bigger on TV either. You gotta just keep this shit in mind. Let's check my 3DS. <laughs> hmm. You'll never be the second biggest YouTuber. Mr. Beast. In Espanol. God, that's the dream. That's why we're getting a Spanish branch. Only for the collabs. <laughs> Oh no. So yeah, I think the desktop version of YouTube is probably the standard for this where I would recommend going in, finding a video with a pretty like easy to Photoshop fucking thumbnail or whatever. Literally just take a screenshot, figure out how big the time code is gonna be in comparison to the rest of the thumbnail and just like block that out. Just overlay like a temporary time code on your thumbnail as you make it. Hide it like when you export it and stuff. Just so you can kind of plan around it. Because goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> but just as a general rule of thumb, you don't want anything that's gonna block. You don't want anything that's vital to be really around a certain radius here. That's why this works. Wow, wonderful. 
You also uh, just want to make sure it's still an element that people are going to associate with the thumbnail. So you want to make sure like space is used effectively. It doesn't, I don't think, hmm. Hmm. You want to make sure things look balanced. If everything is over here, it's going to look like a little bit heavy over, over this side, you know? It's still an element of the thumbnail. It's still got weight. You don't want things to like look cramped or whatever. Oh boy. Rule of thumb. Oh god, I. F I'm. <sighs> I'm gonna walk directly into the sea. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> oh no. Bartholomew, I'm gonna walk directly back to the country you were bought in. And then I'm gonna walk home because god, you're so silly. He's just a. He's just a. I love him. I love him. He's so silly. Oh boy. Another thing, the progress bars will indicate whether one has already watched the video as a red line at the bottom, so do not, do not make the thumbnail borders red. You know what? I didn't actually think of that, but kind of iconic. I There is a trick some people use, and I don't know if I would necessarily go with this, but some people actually include like the red bar as part of the baked-in thumbnail. So then people see the thumbnail and they're like, what the fuck? I already watched this? I don't fucking remember that. And then they click on the video. I, even for like how much clout I love, I think that's a little bit, hmm, hmm. But you know what? It's something to remember. Oh my, honestly. No, I had a, I just had a really good idea on how to use that in an actually quite clever way. And I'm keeping, I'm fucking keeping that to myself. I am selfish and I am petty. We'll <laughs> find out in due time. Code, it's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnails gaslighting me, what the fuck? <laughs> no, you've totally watched this before. What are you talking about? Damn. Bitches do be crazy. For YouTube content. <laughs> Women do be shopping for image editing software. <laughs> oh no, if I see the red bar, I ignore the video because I've watched it. You know what? And that's one of the reasons why it's like, well, are you sure that's the right strategy? Hmm? <laughs> oh no. Don't be ridiculous, gaslighting isn't real. <laughs> so yeah, I would recommend getting just like a template overlay that you can put on here. I don't know if I would do it for like the rounded corners of the thumbnail, but if you want to, you know, it's an idea, it's an idea. I know what some people do, and I should probably get on this at some point, but god, I just can't be bothered right now. <laughs> Which is great. It's a great thing to hear. I know that some people get an overlay of the entire kind of YouTube homepage with like the thumbnails and stuff, and then they slot their, um, their recently made thumbnails in to see how it would look actually displayed on the YouTube homepage. That might be something you might want to look into. But I don't know, shrug emoji. Advanced strats, advanced thumbnail, no jutsu. What the fuck am I going on about? <laughs> oh boy. Where is my fucking applause? Give it up for the Sam Serif gang! Oh boy, that sounds like such a hassle. Unfortunately, YouTube is a hassle. Cries, 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 cries. So yeah, Impact, my beloved. Impact is actually a... It's not the worst thumbnail font I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Fun with fonts, yay! <laughs> Lauren Ipsum hits the wall. <laughs> Boys, can I get some Lauren Ipsum in the chat? <laughs> So yeah, some fonts are more suitable for thumbnails than others. Generally, what I would go with is like a bold sans serif font. Sans serif meaning it doesn't have the, the little barbs on the end. You know Times New Roman? <laughs> you know Times New Roman? With It's got the little... Imagine a T in Times New Roman. It's got the little sticky outy bits on like the bottom and on the, the ends of the lines. That is That is what makes it a serif font. And generally, I would go with sans serif fonts. This might be a personal thing, but I just think it works better. But I would definitely also go with bold fonts. 
because legibility, if it takes up more fucking space on the screen, you're going to be able to read it more easily. Also, it's very easy for thin fonts to kind of get drowned out by the background, especially if you don't have any other effects. Speaking of effects, outline, drop shadow, put a fucking gradient on it, outline it again. I don't give a shit as long as I can read it. <laughs> Ugh. I, I, I do this a lot. Let me, me when I go into my thumbnail folder. Yep, no, that's when I did it. <laughs> we'll get to examples of this as well. But <laughs> I exclusively click on papyrus. Well, you know what, buddy? You scare me. And I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Outline now. <laughs> I th generally, I mean, what is it? Like, white text with a black background can be read on basically anything is kind of the wisdom that I was told. I don't, it's not gonna look good, but that's an idea that you should at least have in your brain. Generally, having an outline is going to make things look a lot more legible. It, it is very easy for just plain text with, with, no, with no special nonsense to kind of get lost in very busy backgrounds and stuff. Oh boy. I mean, there's a re- If we go back, if we fucking go back or whatever. Go on, where is he? Where's my boy? There's a reason that he's got an outline on all of his stuff. Hmm. Because otherwise it would just get lost in the fucking soil and never to be seen again by human eyes. Wow, that's unclear blur. So, yeah, no, I would highly recommend, and this is my hobby, I'm gonna be real, I have normal person hobbies like reading instruction manuals and Wikipedia and scrolling through Google Fonts for three hours and just downloading anything I think is nice. Oh my god, is that Titan 1? Is- is that- is that- oh, ooh. Oh, that's a fun. Oh, I might take that, I might use that normal thumbnails. Ooh, people getting sick of it. Ooh. Oh god. Lost in the sauce. Lost in the- Can't think of anything that rhymes with sauce. Well, it's- We had a good run, boys. <laughs> I hoard fonts like a rabid graphic designer. I have a normal amount of fonts installed. It's only the low triple digits. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's only like 300. My life is so normal. <laughs> <laughs> only like 10 of them in Nintendo fonts. Don't worry about it. I have my comfort fonts. If you don't have a good comfort font, I don't think you're a person. <laughs> my comfort fonts. Uh, Titan 1 and, uh, and, Spl <laughs> and the Splatoon logo font. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Throw a Pikmin font in there. You love it. You love it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right. Yeah. My arms. My arms. They're cramped because I was scrolling through fonts all day. <laughs> Only the finest fonts. I mean, genuinely, I think anyone's life can be improved by installing some new, some new silly fonts. Do it. Put them in your documents. Have fun. <laughs> now, speaking of th words that are rendered in fonts, got them. Nearly pressed my applause button there. It's becoming a reflex at this point. Videos have titles. Fucking remember this. <laughs> We used an example of my beautiful homemade clickbait here, by the way. The thumbnail is basically always, like, when it's clickable, the thumbnail and title are almost always going to be displayed together. Like, if it's the YouTube homepage or recommended or an, em like, an embed on Twitter or something, it is going to, it is going to be displayed in the same place. And because you can count on that, a lot of the time, that means you should probably use that to your advantage. Because there is uh, there is kind of a thing people do where they will put the kind of the title of the video in the thumbnail and it's like, my good sir, I've already read the title. <laughs> oh dear. The thumbnail usually works pretty well to get people's attention if it does get their attention, they're going to read, like, the title or whatever. So you don't kind of want that redundancy, I guess. 
That's why I like having the thumbnail and the title complement each other. I, I'm doing hand gestures and I've got to learn that no one can see them because we're in hell. <laughs> so for example, in this video, on its own, hold on, can I like, what if I, <laughs> let me find something that I can hide things with to, to show you my, 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 my point, my point here. Okay, uh, we're using, we're using Pikmin to, to hide parts of the thumbnail and stuff. So, alone, the thumbnail is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's pretty clear, it's pretty clear. Thing is, not everyone's gonna, uh, like, recognize certain parts of the thumbnail without additional context. And the additional context is, oh my god, she was, ooh, she was keeping a secret? Hmm. I'm not explaining this well, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Pikmin, go! So, if you, if you only look at, Pikmin, we've got this. If you, Pikmin, we've got this, I'm a professional. <laughs> if you only look at the title, if you only look at the title, it's like, ah, she's revealed something. Ah, a secret has come out. Complemented with the thumbnail, it kind of gives that sense of intrigue. Like, oh, oh, I, I think, I think I know what she has revealed. Teehee. But it doesn't just outright, it also just doesn't outright state it, right? It doesn't, the thumbnail is not me saying, I'm asexual, lamau. You gotta get that intrigue. And by the way, this is ethical when I do it because my trauma, my AdSense. <laughs> I would not recommend clickbaiting other people's coming out, but if it's your own, you get to do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Sit up there. I probably have better examples on my channel, but the I'm proud of this one, man. This was on the clips channel. I saw the clip going up and I was like, oh. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> no, it's not the Mexican flag. <laughs> but honestly, if you don't recognize the ace flag, because a lot of people aren't going to, let's be real, then you know, the words, the truth, and she finally confirmed it, still make it seem like, oh, something big and personal is being revealed. She's French? <laughs> no, even if you don't know what the flag, like, actually stands for, then it's still like, ah, you're saying something of interest. Ooh. You went. This also kind of ties into the fact that, um, sometimes the best way to get a banger thumbnail is to make sure the concept of the video is a banger first. <laughs> And this is something I have had to learn again and again with, hmm, stream topics, which I'm so good at, as you can see by the live view account of this stream. <laughs> this isn't a banger. This is an educational resource. We all need one of these sometimes to cool off. <laughs> what country's flag is that? I thought you were British. Exactly. That's what's going to be going through people's heads when they don't know what the flag is. And when they do know what the flag is, they're going to go, ooh. Hello! <laughs> and when the flag is their flag, they're gonna go, FUCKING FINALLY! Someone with, like, good representation for us. <laughs> Don't ask me. Don't ask me about... Hmm. Ace representation is so much and so many and we have so much of it. It's, it's, we have two people. We have two fucking people. And one of them is me. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Pikman. You've done a good job. You've done, a, you've done an excellent job. Wonderful. Wonderful. So yeah, you want to make sure the thumbnail and the title work together, kind of. There's there's a Tom Scott video that I literally used as, uh, like, as an example in the pre-debut meeting we were having about this topic. Where it's the Tom Scott video where, the, hallowed be his name, God rest in peace. <laughs> it's the Tom Scott video about how many languages are there. And... You wouldn't think this would work, but he literally just put the fucking number in the thumbnail. It's like 7,000 whatever. And then there's an asterisk. And that asterisk is doing so much good for this world. <laughs> because it's not always like set up question in the title, answer it in the thumbnail, although that does work quite well in a lot of cases. 
sometimes it can be ask qu like question in the title, answer it in the thumbnail. Asterisk. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant shit. Hmm. Tom Scott videos are just like vet. those thumbnails, they know what they're fucking here for. Go go look at those. Go look at those. I don't care if you're not a VTuber. Go watch Tom Scott. I don't care that he's retired. He's still my Oshi. <laughs> my educational Oshi. Oh boy. Right then. Yeah, I, I, I do love being extra. Sometimes you just gotta be a little bit extra. This font is Titan 1! I told you fonts are important! Mwah, mwah, mwah. 300,000 views, I'm a god! <laughs> and speaking of thumbnails I made, it's time for the section about more thumbnails I made. Brilliant, beautiful, genius, fucking nice! <laughs> I only know who Tom Scott is because of MatPat. Mods? Set him up with an educational playlist of Tom Scott videos. <laughs> Mods? Make him watch the language files. <laughs> Thumbnail lore. Thumbnail lore is that I spend 25 hours of my life every day staring at Clip Studio Paint. Listen, just because I know how to make a good thumbnail doesn't mean I want to sometimes. <laughs> Temporary thumbnail was my was my smartest fucking choice I've ever made. And none of the stuff in this PowerPoint just proves that. Oh boy. <laughs> I've recently acquired both a pink and purple Escarf Go, like Snebby. Very pog. What do you think I should name them? I'm gonna be real, I don't know, man, because Snebby is just Snebby to me. And god, he is fiving. Damn. Just because I have Bartholomew in here and Yellow Pigman, you think I don't? You don't? You, th you think I don't have Snabby? <laughs> it's your loss. They're besties, by the way. <laughs> Rin Junior and Juna Junior. No, I don't. The colors are off for that for first. <laughs> Snabby the Evil Tin Snub. No. You just put Snabby and Evil in the same sentence, and you've got to understand how that doesn't work. Look into your heart. Look into the heart of the snails. <laughs> Look how fashionable they are. It'll inspire you. <laughs> oh boy. Right then. So thumbnails I have made because 2% of my thumbnails, I'll say this again, are bangers. The other 90%? And that's not how percentages work. Don't fucking look at me. No, oh, graphic design is my passion. Don't. Once again, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> These are some thumbnails that I made that I think go hard personally. And we're immediately getting on to Mr. Beast. <laughs> this is incredibly Mr. Beast coded. Let's fucking tear it apart, okay? High saturation! You can tell a lot of the time in thumbnails, I'll actually boost like the brightness and the saturation of my, uh, my eyes, just so they're a little bit more eye-catching. And that just helps draw attention to, oh my God, it's a human face. What I'll also do, I'll I'll take like the picture of myself that I've taken, I'll duplicate it, I'll switch the blending mode in Clip Studio to overlay, and then I'll turn that down until it doesn't look fucking deranged. <laughs> but that just helps. You can tell my hair actually looks a little bit darker in that thumbnail and stuff, and that's that's part of that. And the inside of my mouth is just a little bit brighter. <laughs> that's the sound I'm making in this thumbnail. <laughs> Then we have... I'm gonna be real, I just like this background. <laughs> it's from a stock image website. I love that. But it does contrast well, like the dark kind of colors also contrast well with the YouTube logo, which I think I also boosted a bit in saturation. And then, ah uh, yes, this is color theory. This is color theory right here. The blue and the kind of yellowy banknotes, that's color theory. The red YouTube logo and the bright green credit card, uh, that's color theory. <laughs> and the hands, which I just... It took a fucking while for me to edit in, like, the way that they cross over. But you know what? It was worth it. It was worth it. Also, the, uh, the banknotes, like, layered in front of me just make it a little bit more clear that that's what's going on. 
I probably could have used actual US bills because I believe this would probably actually be a representation of uh, Japanese banknotes. But you know what? It gets the fucking point across. Don't look at me. Also, I just like the effect of it's a little bit blood because it's in the foreground. We did it. Very nice. Extremely cool. <laughs> I'm good at what I do. And I... I mean, you don't actually need to, like, read any of the text to kind of get... For text, all it really is is the idol logo. But even then, it kind of carries itself on... What's it? The... Oh my god, it's the Mr. Beast narrative striking again. Wow, Rin cries. Nice. You've got to believe me, it's 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 actually very smart. <laughs> ominous YouTube hands. Any hands coming from YouTube would be ominous. I no, I definitely, I definitely saturation boosted these ones. Because they were a stock image and before they had like a normal human skin tone and now they look like they're a little bit on fire. Wonderful. <laughs> oh dearie me. Also, I've just realized the uh, the green also meshes, it contrasts even quite well with the, the fucking MasterCard logo, so we like we like this. <laughs> Banger indeed. I did also have to make sure the hands didn't cover up anything that was like, making it too clear that it's a credit card. You want to make sure that you can, s even if you don't read it, you can see that there is, you know, bank information on this thing. But yeah. You gotta, it's it's about clarity, it's about telling a story. The story is incredibly confusing and never should have happened, but you're still telling it. Good God. Now, bang a thumbnail the second. Of course this one's in, in, in here, don't look at me. <laughs> okay, elements. Black bars that are drawing your attention to the creature. Me, looking fucking scared. Red arrow! <laughs> Blue is for boys! <laughs> that was unintentional, I just found it funny. <laughs> Once again, humans, uh, something, something, we look at faces, lol. So if you cover the eyes, uh, that does something in the brain, and I don't know what that is, because I'm not good at this. <laughs> oh dear. It's fine, it's fine. The sensor over the eyes, he's been in controversy. He stole my chocolate milk, I'll kill him! <laughs> oh, but where's the bright red circle surrounding it? <laughs> oh, good god, no. It's fine. Afraid, look, because I know that something terrible is going to happen. Slight color overlay to make him stand at he's purple and the background is yellow, I'm a god! <laughs> Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. I really am deep in this shithole, huh? I love YouTube! <laughs> oh, never forgive me for screwing over my sleep yesterday morning for nothing. Smile. <laughs> Smile. It's Wednesday. Don't forget to make YouTube thumbnails. Oh god. <laughs> Splatoon teaches color theory real. I guess it kind of does because all the ink colors will be contrasting. And that's why fucks black color screen. <laughs> I haven't actually played since they updated black color screen. I need to... We'll see. We'll see. It's different. It's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> and some more thumbnails I think go hard. Of course it was going to be this one. I could have saturation boosted this one a little bit, but I think it's fine. It's the juxtaposition of... Because... I mean, that's a reason I put, like, specifically Corone in the thumbnail of this video, is because she's very recognizable. If I'd done this with uh, someone who doesn't have that much, like, awareness around them, it wouldn't have really hit the same. But we all know who Corone is. We all know that her name is Corone at the very least. I say we. When I say we, I mean, like, VTuber fans. I know a lot of you are like, I watch Rin Penrose and no other content creators, and I'm like, good god, watch Tom Scott. <laughs> But anyone who's like in the VTuber kind of community knows who this person is. And so the juxtaposition of her face and then my mother getting it like blatantly fucking wrong <laughs> in a funny way kind of sets the tone for the entire stream. And by God, we know how that went. Dun, 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 dun. If you're making a clip of this, superimpose like a picture of my most viewed videos over my face as I as I make a, a shocked Mr. Beast thumbnail face. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there we go. I've done your job for you. You're welcome. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Have you offered your UBs to Kelly? It sounds fucking ridiculous and that's why this works. <laughs> oh boy. This font is very small. I think it works because it's not like vital to getting the the vibes of the stream. It's a it's a funny little joke for when you're waiting on the on the on the page waiting for the stream to start. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Wonderful. Brilliant genius. Perfect. Me when I. I think the look of concern does sell it. You're gonna get some you're gonna get some funny reactions to this silliness. And then this one, banger once again. I... <laughs> what is up, Drama Nation? It's your boy, Rin Penrose, back here again to sip the scalding hot tea. On this week's episode of... Uh, 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 God, I love clout. God, I love clout. I love clout. God, I love clout. I fucking love clout. I love money and I love clout. We're going to be discussing Rin Penrose, who is... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Help me. Help me. So yeah, the, it starts to look like a drama thing because I'm gonna be real, it gets the fucking clicks. Don't at me. I got a saturated boost with this one too, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> this also, the gradient does get a little bit dark and it starts kind of melting into the drop shadow that I gave it. But I think the red was definitely like the right idea. You want to emphasize, if you've got like more than three words of fucking text. You want to see if you can emphasize the like the most vital word. If I had to just choose one word to put on the thumbnail, it probably would have been like leaked or something. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it's designed like a drama thing because I'm very silly. It worked for that. It does. It's not going to work for all streams, but it worked for that stream because I was doing wrong against the company, and I will continue to do that because I'm a nice person. And then also the addition of uh, Poco's teaser silhouette here makes it look like, oh, am I going to learn what Poco Raccoon looks like even though I don't know her name is Poco Raccoon yet because it's the fucking February or June? I don't remember which month they were teased in. I'm, time is a flat circle and you don't need to look at me like that or like anything really. <laughs> Poco, you mean Tamaki Araikuma? <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite. Marina Mariana, rest in peace, God! My greatest creation! <laughs> I was pretty fucking close with Roxy Bon Jovi. You don't need to look at me. <laughs> the possibilities with these thumbnails are endless. I'll kill. I'll kill. <laughs> I've killed before and I'll do it again. So, th yeah, this... It's using kind of the almost the visual language of a different genre to kind of bring you into that because if my if the thumbnail and the title were kind of the, the title was also playing along with this i don't remember exactly what the uh what the no i'm gonna look it up what was the title of this stream oh god it's gonna be really fun to search considering i don't know the <laughs> considering that i don't actually know the title this would have been in no you should actually be looking at your live uh your live thing it'll be one of the more viewed ones i can go for most viewed let's see it wasn't it wasn't one of my most viewed ones i overestimated my abilities to clickbait people fuck i can do this i can do this i can no there's no way it was no never mind it was i'm actually blind <laughs> Where are you? Where the- I didn't change the goddamn thumbnail, did I? I'm- there it is. This was- okay, it was June. We've got this. No, yeah, the title was, quote, Idly Engine 2 Designs, and then in all caps, LEAKED by very stupid VTuber. <laughs> Where's the lie? Where's the- I love lying. It's- I'll lie. I've lied before and I'll do it again. <laughs> Brilliant. So yeah, it's it's all it's all set up with the visual language and the English language of like a drama a drama video. If I had set this uh, stream up with this like the exact same content, but it was uh, like predicting idly end Gen two, I don't think it would have gone as far because you know what branding is life. 
and I'm in hell, and it's fine, and this is fine. Where's the lie, and then immediately admits to lying? That's just how I work. Hun. <laughs> we can be silly. And I'll continue to be silly in the future. Because the thing about uh, being silly is, um, yeah, no. For many reasons, I don't actually follow a lot of these steps all the time. They're good steps, and I agree with them. But, um... You don't need to worry about, like, fitting all of these into thumbnail. Rules were made to be broken or whatever. The rules of YouTube say that don't lie to people and, uh, lol them out. <laughs> a lot of the time, I can be stuck between making a banger thumbnail and making a thumbnail I think is funny, and I will nine times out of ten go with the thumbnail I think is funny. <laughs> that being said, sometimes, once again, they are the same one. Sometimes those are the same thumbnail. <laughs> But yeah, uh, YouTube is a myth, and um, there aren't actually any rules. And at some point, like, the rules become... Everyone starts doing them to the point where the meta becomes doing something else. So, you can use these tips as you see fit, but if you think it would work better if you did a thing that goes against them, then literally be my fucking guest. I love money. This is a stock image included in the th thing! <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Slightly bending the truth for views. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, there's lying, there's bending the truth, and then there's just like, leaving the truth over just a little, just to make it look a little bit different. <laughs> and I think that last one is okay, and I think the second one is okay in situations. Don't lie. Not even just for moral reasons, but because people are gonna cl click off your fucking video if you do, and then, uh... Then you sh then you shit out of luck. <laughs> it's not a lie if no one finds out. Might be bit, might be a bit difficult in VTuber clipping, but you know what? Sure. <laughs> it's a better story this way. Sometimes the narrative is like a little bit more. You know, you want to emphasize that more. But that's going into like the actual content of the videos. And uh, by God, I'm not qualified. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. I could go- I could start talking about like the highlight videos I do, which will be coming back at some point. We're- we're fucking stockpiling, let me tell you something. But you know what? That's a story for another day. Oh! It's fine. That's my advice. That's my advice for making thumb- Once again, uh, temporary thumbnail- if you're a streamer, t a temporary thumbnail is your greatest ally. <laughs> uh, temporary- I think I'm just gonna, like- make 15 temporary thumbnails one day and then never make any more thumbnails ever again and I'm just gonna cycle through all of them. Brilliant. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> and remember, a picture is worth a thousand words! This was also a, like, a stock slide in this template and I was like, damn. This really is just how it be sometimes. <laughs> I was actually included in this template. They just- I, I- I downloaded it and I was like, oh, I'm there. Wow. Shocking. Even I lie. So now we will convene for, um, a, a q and a session and also to become a stock image of woman looking at phone in weirdly lit room. How does she see anything? Why is there no light coming off of her phone? Is it even on? You'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> a picture is worth a thousand words and the only word written is run said it better myself. I could picture it better though. <laughs> so yeah. So if anyone has any stuff they want to ask me about for thumbnails, I'll fucking tell you. Threatening hands gif. <laughs> it's on there some light on her neck. Damn. That's just a really dim phone. <laughs> Mm. It's having a million explosions a good thumbnail. Might get a little bit, like, visually muddy there. You gotta- you gotta have that clarity. You gotta- oh, you gotta have that- that-, that the legend ability. And that's not the word, but I know what I mean. <laughs> Where do you get thumbnail inspiration? Inspiration? My method for inspiration is my- uh, antivirus giving me a pop-up. Fuck off. <laughs> My method for inspiration is the same kind of, like, what's the word? Theory for everything, which is you need to look outside of the niche that you're making stuff for. If, like, it's 
thumbnails. This isn't just a thumbnail thing. This is an everywhere thing. If you're making thumbnails, don't just look at like the VTuber niche because I will admit some VTuber thumbnails can get a bit samey. It's like, ah, model and words, great. And that works, but like, it's time to get good at the nails. It's time for everyone to get good. Not just me, but you too. The Chancellor of Nails has now made the decree that everyone in this world has nails proficiency. The future is coming and now it's the age of the nails. It's time to get good at nails. Time to get good at nails. It is time to get good at the nails. <laughs> Brilliant. So yeah, with inspiration for anything really, it's like, just look outside the niche you're, you're in. If you make VTuber clips, look at, like, even just, like, go to stream Eclipse or whatever. If you're making fucking anime art on Twitter, that's why they tell you to, like, look at other pieces of art, because other pieces of art will have ideas that you can yoink, and they're yours now. When I'm thinking of stream ideas, I will fucking go on YouTube, and I'll be like, that's interesting. And then I'll go, why is that interesting, and how can I steal it for my own benefit? <laughs> it's that yoink and twist, baby! Oh, yeah! And that's what I call ethical theft. Wow! No bold men are going to have any problems with me. For that specific reason. <laughs> oh, boy. It's not stealing if you take a little from everyone. God, ain't that just how it be sometimes on this bitch of an earth? <laughs> how long does it take you to make a thumbnail? If I'm being quick, uh, I want to say, like, 10 minutes minimum but if you're if you're putting effort into it then i've had thumbnails that have taken me two hours before sometimes that is like reiteration where i have an idea and i work on it for half an hour and then like fuck this is bad actually no one's gonna watch this <laughs> and then i restart and some of it is like i have the idea i know what i fucking want and the execution of it takes like two hours alone and that's why I do temporary thumbnails! This is my origin story! <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I mean, if, if thumbnails like just seem like a pain in the ass to you, once again, you don't have to do everything on this, you don't have to do anything on this fucking list. <laughs> this is just if you wanna hashtag get good scrub. You can also pay people to make thumbnails, but I'm a little bit hmm about that sometimes, so you know. Oh boy. Who do you think makes the most banger thumbnails? Hmm. Me. <laughs> Genuinely, I think Tom Scott thumbnails are really good. Uh, they wouldn't really work for like this specific, like like VTubing, but let me, let me look up some Tom Scott thumbnails. There we go. There we go. Tom Scott thumbnails are very simple. He's got his branding on point. His branding is red. <laughs> we love that for him. Tom Scott thumbnails are like some text on a like a little nice red background. A, a, a subtle arrow. The arrow is white on the red background. The red background isn't immediately saturated. So you're like, ah, it's Tom Scott. And his specific brand of red t-shirt. <laughs> Reading Tom Scott thumbnails. This pit kills birds. Why does this spin? It's complicated. Screaming. <laughs> Tom Scott thumbnails are such bangers that we literally have one set up in like one of our one of our official servers as a sticker. <laughs> it's the one that where he's like gesturing to something and the text is please stop emailing me about this. <laughs> Thank God my manager loves that one. I also gave my manager uh, access to the Tom Scott the Tom Scott thing that's Tom Scott on a background of fire and it's just him saying, I'm here at my fucking limit. <laughs> but that's beyond the point. What software do you use for making thumbnails? I use Clip Studio Paint because it's what I got my fucking hands on. Genuinely anything, like any image editor with X amount of fidelity will work. I like I use uh, a site called Photopia for my schedule PSDs because I don't have Photoshop. I can't be bothered to pay for it. No, no, no. You could probably make it in that and it's just like, it's, it's free or whatever. I know some people make them in Canva. I know some people make them in 
like fire alpaca which is baby's first clip studio paint <laughs> mm. photoshop my beloved i've never tried making a thumbnail in photoshop it would work i just feel like it would be a pain in the ass but most people probably do that mm. could procreate work probably i'm not familiar with like the in and out of procreate like but any art software that can generate text could probably work if it's got like text writing if it has text mani like manipulation tools even better i wish clip studio had a thing that could make my text like all curvy but uh if it's got like basic text editing and manipulation and you can make like outlines in it you're basically set if it's got blending modes like you win you win you did it slap an overlay on that you're good wonderful wonderful oh i did actually just remember um not everyone is gonna have access to this i think it's still in beta let me check let me check but thumbnail a b testing is um a thing youtube is playing around with now i have been using that for the past few videos that i've uploaded let's see thumbnail a -B. let me get a screenshot let me show you how thumbnail I uh, a b testing actually looks There we go. Ah, yes. Save that on my hard drive. It's called harddrive.drive.png. There we go. Wonderful. Perfect. Genius. New image. New image. New image. Browse. It's hard drive. So this is what happens when you have thumbnail A-B testing. Thumbnail A-B testing is you put three thumbnails into... Well, I guess it's A-B-C testing in this case. To you. It's a new feature. I it, Yeah, it's in beta. I don't think... I talked to some people and they're like, where the fuck did you get this? But I think it should be rolling out to people, but more people, vaguely soon. I have no fucking idea how I got my hands on this. I didn't ask them. <laughs> How's it spelled? Thumbnail A-B testing. Yeah, it's basically that. Ooh, my cursor. <laughs> so, the way it works, you put three different thumbnails into YouTube and it will test out which one of them is basically like the most effective at, get pe uh, at getting people to watch your nonsense for an extended period of time. It's not clicks. It's not measuring how many people click on the video. It's measuring how many people, like how much watch time you get out of those thumbnails, basically. Which increases that watch time the most. And then it'll give you a nice percentage. Sometimes it runs faster than others, I'll be honest. I think... The first video I did this for was my fucking, like, Pikmin on my GameCube song. And how long did that test run for? It ran for two days. <laughs> it ran for two days down to, like, it ran for two days and a minute. Exactly. Brilliant. But I think that's because, yeah, no, uh, the winning thumbnail was just so much more effective, whereas this one is a lot closer. I think it says it can run up for up to two weeks. Which I believe is what this one might have done. Ah, oh, yeah. Pikmin 18 billion and 11. So it'll... You can do this manually. It's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. If you really want to do thumbnail A-B testing without YouTube giving you the features to it, it's called replacing the thumbnail and looking at how the numbers change. YouTubers have been doing this for a fucking while. Uh, I believe... I think Mr. Beast was already doing that <laughs> before they even put it into the actual thing, the actual system. I have no idea how fast this is rolling out to channels. Once again, I have no idea why I was given this. I got this at like the start of December, if I'm aware, possibly earlier. When it does become available to more people, I would recommend at least having a play around with this. If you don't want to worry about it, because it does mean you have to make like three thumbnails and two of them are technically going to go to waste at the end, that's fine, but I think it's worth looking into if you're really concerned about, like, number go up, like me, a normal person. It doesn't work on live streams, which is why I'm in hell, but that's fine. Sobs, weeps. Actually, let me check, is it? There's no way in hell it's gonna be available on YouTube Shorts. Right? Right? Where are we? Nope. For now, you can't set change the thumbnail in your shorts. It's been a fucking year, YouTube. It's been five years and I can still can't change the thumbnails on my shorts. I pray this isn't about them. There's thumbnails on YouTube shorts. Yes, it's 
the pre-selected image that YouTube ch chose for f <laughs> Don't talk to me about YouTube shorts. Don't don't look at me. Don't don't talk to me about thumbnails on YouTube shorts. I don't want this. I, why won't they change it? There is technically a way to select a thumbnail on YouTube shorts, but you, it's the most fucking complicated thing in the world and I can't do it. And it, you gotta go mobile and I rah! It's fine. Choose a fucking thumbnail on YouTube shorts. You have to upload it from your phone. And I do not have the time, patience, or really ability to do this. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> they just choose a random frame. I, yeah, I think... I think it's slightly more complicated than that, but complicated doesn't mean good. <laughs> Always remember this. Hmm. So, yeah, I would say, um... The test finished without a conclusive result. I just read that. Wonderful. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, I would play around with this at some point. Especially if... Especially if you love those numbers. Honestly, all of this advice was, if you love those numbers. <laughs> this one's for you, people trying to get into the idle clipping program. And or people already in the idle clipping program who want more dollars out of me. I'm paying for this. I took out a loan. 30,000 US dollars to pay for my clips. <laughs> you and I lie straight up. I do it. And I'll do it. I'll, I'll fucking do it again. She's paying for it, all right. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, no. What are the clips? Uh, hold on. Our website got updated and I'm, I'm living my best fucking life. Sorry, I don't think I've actually said that on stream yet. Our website got updated and I'm living and I'm living and I'm living and I'm living. Did they put my Twitch channel on the website yet? No, I'll kill someone. I'm fine. Now let me check. Let me check. Where is it? Community, partnered clippers. What are the requirements for the clips, the clips, the clips thing? Sign up for free. I'd love to do that as someone who's allowed to. Let's see. Minimum 100,000 total views. So you are going to want to get your views up if you want in. Minimum three clipped VTuber clips in the past two months. Slay. Uh, for those of you who don't uh, know, Idol has a, a partnered clipper program, which is, it's basically, if you're in the program and you clip Idol VTubers, we'll give you a dollar every time you get a thousand views. <laughs> And that's, I think that's fucking it. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you're trying to like get your views up for uh, signing up for the Partner Clipper program, I would advise that you 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 spend some time peering directly into the, the gaping mind more of your thumbnail game. You, you must, you must. <laughs> Oh dear. One dollar! Finally. Five dollars. <laughs> I bought my third home with my clipper revenue. <laughs> That's interesting considering there's like a hard limit on how much money you can technically earn. <laughs> oh boy. I mean the limit is five thousand dollars a month I think. How many views would you have to get for like you have to get like five hundred thousand views on a single not a single clip on all of your clips and I love idol but we ain't doing those numbers yet <laughs> and that's why we have the clipper program don't look at me oh boy I might if any clippers are like interested in uh getting advice for making for making certified bangers maybe I'll do another one of these at some point <laughs> it was a Barbie dream house but still those things got expensive don't look at me Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of YouTube is like the brand. What's the branding of your video? And that goes that goes for like streams as well, which is difficult because streams and videos are not made of the same thing, and YouTube should stop treating them like they are. Tee -hee. But a lot of convincing people to watch your video is the branding of the video itself, and that's why clickbait got so popular. Or it's like, ah, yes, I will convince people to watch my video with lies. And your video like, do, like, does fucking need to be good for the record, but hmm. One dollar per 1k view or per video. It's per one, it's per 1,000 views on clips that have 
people from Idol, I think, basically. So if you if you clip Momo Otako collabing with Woman's name here. I can't think of anyone. <laughs> if it's got an idol talent in it, then I think it's uh, one dollar per like a thousand views. I don't know if that rolls over on a video to video basis. You, uh, for more details about the idol partner clippers program, please don't talk to me. I didn't set it up. It's not my business, really. <laughs> my business is making good business decisions. Like investing in thumbnail technology. I bought Clip Studio Paint seven years ago. <laughs> You're so close to making one dollar from this video. Keep going. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, uh, actually, um, on the topic of thumbnail A/B testing, because that's definitely what we're talking about. There is no like shame or whatever, and arguably, like I've literally done this before. Sometimes you will think of a better thumbnail for a video that you didn't do and in that case just fucking replace it just fucking replace it it's who gives a shit Lich that is what i did with my where is it go 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 there it is there it is that is what i did with this thumbnail because this was uh originally posted this clip was originally posted on the clip channel by the guy who runs the clip channel with a different title and thumbnail entirely. And I was doing fine. But I looked at the subject matter of the video and I was like... I love clickbait. <laughs> so I whipped this... I'll be real, I whipped this thumbnail up in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, what technically true title can I give this? Once again, my trauma, my fucking AdSense, I'm gonna buy a jungle skog. Apparently they make small jungle skogs now. I need to look into this claim. I needed the money. <laughs> it could be clickbaitier. True, but at a certain point, like, uh, I have pesky things called morals. God, I wish I didn't have morals. It would make my life so much easier. <laughs> my morals have stopped me from doing some terribly atrocious things. Not slay. I wish I could slay a man to death. <laughs> Better late than never. I mean, literally, because I... I Have I shown the fucking graph of this thing? I'm worried that if I sign into... Okay, we're doing a weird walk around here. I'm worried that if I sign into the Clips channel while I'm streaming, it's going to break something because I'm meant to be signed into my current big boy channel. Rin Penrose big boy channel. That's what this is. You're watching the Rin Penrose big boy channel. Right then, I can literally show you if I screenshot, if it'll load. I'm gonna, I'm basically, I'm gonna show you where the views went up and I want you to guess where I changed the, the branding. <laughs> hmm, who could have guessed? <laughs> right, okay, screenshot on my phone. And then get the thing in the thing, and then I go on the Discord, which I I have a I have a Discord that I set up for myself, which is literally my my image dump, and it's 99% scrunklings. I'm fine with this. Okay, you go in there, and then it's uploaded to the thing, and then I can copy the image. I should have had this ready earlier because it's a good example. Bam, downloads, image 101.1441. Bang. I wonder where I changed the thumbnail. <laughs> Who could have fucking guessed? <laughs> I wonder if it's where the line goes up. Oh no. And this is this is my proof as to if like if the thumbnail's worse, like it could hurt the video. But the act of changing the thumbnail and title itself is not something that hurts a video. And if you use this to advantage, you are this you will become the strongest boy. I believe in you. Thumbs up. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> My goodness. That is that is the power of a good thumbnail. Boys and others. <laughs> Boys and second category. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so.
So, I think if anyone has any more questions, that is good. If not, I think that is the end of my spiel. Hmm. Any advice for people uh, PNG tubing slash who don't have much art of their characters and different poses to choose from? I would say, and this might be a bit of a weird workaround. I normally do this with stock images and that's why I was thinking it was weird. But actually I've realized you can just get like free to use VTuber assets of like hands and stuff. You know how people have those VTuber assets of like hand holding thing? Hand holding other thing. Abusos with credit, but abusos with credit. <laughs> That is a good way to cheat out more poses from, like, even, like, VTuber models, honestly. I think I should probably start using more hand assets to make myself go, like, like do the panic pose or whatever. I'm late, can we start over? <laughs> I think more schools should start taking vods of their TED Talks. So that's what I did. <laughs> Just paste your face over a stock image of the pose you want, it doesn't matter. I'd never do that. Ha! <laughs> oh, but what's a thumbnail? I don't know. Mm. You, it is... I mean, no one... Not, not, not a lot of us have 3D, let's be real. And even less of us have actually working 3D. Smile. <laughs> so a lot of the time, when you're going to want to get another pose out of a VTuber model. You are going to have to do some external editing. That might be like drawing on like a edgy anime face shadow. That might be... You might want to like do a little Photoshop on a VTuber's face just because after a certain point people will start recognizing the expressions that VTubers can make. And that's literally just like a limitation of Live 2D as a system. If you can go in with Photoshop and edit those things, just a little bit. Not so much that they look fucking terrifying. But, you know, there's a reason why replacing the, the nose with the mouth is a little bit silly. <laughs> if you can just change how it looks, like a, v a person's VTuber model looks, in like the face or whatever. If you can just make their expressions look a little bit different than how they're normally kind of rendered, that can be very interesting. That can be a little bit eye-catching because people are going to be like, Wait, what the fuck? What, what are your face doing? <laughs> a little goofier. A little sillier. <laughs> yeah. Rin, are you aware that YouTube Music takes your covers and puts them on YouTube Music? I can have Pikmin's song blasting my ears on the bus. Brilliant. This is all that I wanted. It's not on topic, but you know what? It's a banger question. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Right. Ah, oh, my stock image bones! Blech. <laughs> I said Pikmin song is my alarm. You should be alarmed. <laughs> right then, I think... I think that should be it then. I think that's my... I think that's Rin of the Thumbnail's wisdom. <laughs> I think that's my wisdom here for tonight. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. If I put Blahash in the thumbnail, will it do better? 10 times out of 10, absolutely yes. It's the only- that's the matter. That's the matter. The matter is Blahaj. The rest of this talk was bullshit. You just gotta put sharks in it. <laughs> Thank you for your knowledge. <laughs> it's alright. No, it's not. Me when I lie. <laughs> Terrifying. God forsake it all. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't make thumbnails, but I like learning things. Th that's the entire life cycle of the YouTube educational system. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for the tips. My thumbnail's about to pop off. I will use this power for good. Probably. <laughs> if Genuinely, if I start seeing an uptick in, like, the, the quality of Idol Clippers, like, thumbnails, from this point on, I will feel like a fucking god. Do it for me. Gestures to myself with invisible hands. Then they're invisible, but you can still see them. In your heart. And it'll make a banger thumbnail. <laughs> Will this be turned into a video? I'm genuinely late. That's what VODs are for! We've got this. We've fucking got this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I should... I should just become an educational channel. I should just fucking do that. 
I've, I've, I've got that, I've got that daog in me, as the kids say, I think. I think that's what that means. I think it means that I'm cool and based. I don't know. <laughs> and that's all right. I think maybe. Okay, uh, tomorrow we're doing another TED Talk because my sense of scheduling is very, very good and I'm normal and I'm normal and I'm normal. <laughs> And I was nearly late to the stream because I was trying to make the thumbnail for it in time. Oh well, I think what we've really learned among all of this is that, um, where are you? Where are you? Yes, the real, um, the real lesson to be gleaned from this. Temerary thumbnails are my, are my best friend and my strongest ally. And if you see one in the wild, you should give it a firm handshake. I love making thumbnails. It's my favorite hobby in the world. Me when I lie.